Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today I want to show you how you can stake Avalanche or AVEX on your Ledger Nano. I have a Ledger Nano S Plus here that I will use, but you can also use um, the other Ledger Nanos like the Ledger Nano um, X for example. If you don't have one, I put a link down in the description where you can buy a Ledger Nano. So first of all, and the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have some Avalanche or AVEX and you can buy the token for example on Binance. So once we have some AVEX there you can just click withdraw and then you can send it to your Ledger Nano. But in order to do that you need to install the Ledger Nano app on uh, the, Le the Ledger Avalanche app on your Ledger and how you can do that is you open the Ledger Live app and then you go to Manager and you are searching for Avalanche. And I already installed it, but if you haven't, um, there would be a button here that you can click and then it automatically installs um, Avalanche on your Ledger Nano. So once we have done that, um, we can use the Avalanche Web Wallet. Here you have to know um, staking and sending and receiving um, AVEX is not yet possible on the Ledger Live app, so you need to use that external wallet. But that's basically just an interface um, for interacting with your Ledger Nano. So in order to do that, you um, connect your Ledger with your computer and then you click on Access Wallet and you open the le the Avalanche app on your Ledger and then you click here on Ledger and then you have to accept these two on your Ledger. Just takes a second to load. Just a second, I need to reload that page. Here you connect it, you open the Avalanche app And then you need to accept these two keys and then it will open up your web wallet. Just takes a second and then you can see your wallet here. And Avalanche is a bit special because you basically have three chains. You have an X chain, a P chain and a C chain. C chain is if you want to interact with smart contracts then you are using the C chain. Um, for staking, you are using the P-Chain and for just sending AVEX or receiving AVEX, you're usually using the X-Chain. And let's withdraw some AVEX from our Binance account to our ledger. And how we do that is we go to Binance and we go to our wallet and then we click withdraw. We choose Avalanche and then we need to enter an address. And as you can see, here's your X address. And you can just click copy here and paste it. And it automatically recognizes the network. And so you just need to type in how much AVEX you want to withdraw. For example, could withdraw 10 AVEX here. Then just click withdraw and it will send um, the AVEX to your Ledger Nano and you can see that on your web wallet then. It only usually takes like a couple of minutes depending how fast Binance is with the withdrawal. Um, once you have done that, um, you can send these AVEX tokens between these different chains. So for example, if you want to stake them, you need to send them to the P chain. So in order to do that, um, you select C as a source uh, X as a source chain and you send it to your P chain. Then you select, um, like I have one AVEX here, and hit confirm and then it will automatically send your AVEX to your P chain and then you can basically stake them. And how that works is you need at least 2000 AVEX if you want to be a validator. If you don't have that many AVEX like I do, um, you can delegate it to one of the validators and for that you are paying a small fee. As you can see here, a lot of validators 
and with a 20% fee, but you can filter it down and say, okay, the maximum fee you want to pay is 2%. And so if you would be earning like 100 um, AVEX for staking over a certain period of time, you would basically pay, uh, pay the validator 2% here, so 2 AVEX out of the 100. And then you can select one of the validators and we can use this one here, as you can see, um, the time here ends at 10 months. So you can select um, any date when you want to end the staking period of the delegation period. Um, however, it can be further in the future than 10 months. So for example, you can select here end of December and then you would basically stake your AVEX until end of December. Um, however, you have to know you can't access your AVEX until the staking period is over. Um, so make sure you are choosing a time that is not too far ahead in the future. However, it doesn't make sense to stake just for like a week or two or three and because then you have to redo it every few weeks. So you have to find a good compromise there. So that's why it's um, important to make sure you choose a validator um, that has an end time that it's not just like, for example, in 20 days, because then you would need to restake in 20 days and have to do the process all over again. So let's go with the first one. You select an end date and then you select the time at what time of the day the staking ends. Then you select the amount you want to stake and then you just click confirm and confirm it on your ledger and then you basically staked all your selected AVEX tokens. Um, when the staking period is over, you will automatically get back these tokens on your P-Chain and then you can restake them. However, if you want to transfer them, you can just send them from the P chain to your X chain, for example, and send them back to Binance or whatever you want to do with it. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, please hit, please use the comments down below. And if you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.